out here where nothing can grow, in the dead playa lakes of the Black Rock Desert, there's something teeming below the surface. Life thrives where it shouldn't, and places like Fly Geyser show you impossible is only a word. Arlo Stockham is one of its caretakers, people who have kept watch here for five decades. Hot water started coming out, and it's been coming out for 50 years ever since. Fly Geyser was once a simple water well until ranchers hit a massive hot spring, geothermal energy. Pressure underground pushes the water up to the surface, bursting out, reshaping rock. Travertine deposit, various minerals. That is twisted and warped for years. A never finished masterpiece crafted only by gravity and time. They're sure beautiful while they're around and uh, who knows, could be going another couple hundred years, could just be going another 10 years. The day was hot, but the water hotter than the boiling point. I mean, it's what, almost 90 degrees here and it's still steaming. <laughs> Even now, minutes after the water's trickled its way down here, it's still very hot. It feels like we're standing above a pot of boiling water. It's about 140 to 160 degrees in these ponds. But tapping into that heat leads to the revolution underway at the top of a hill just outside of Reno. The water coming out of it today is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This is Ormat's Steamboat Geothermal Power Facility. There's essentially a fly geyser type spring underground here. An amazing amount of energy, says Ormat's Paul Thompson. So the 100 megawatts we produce here is enough power to supply really the residential load of the city of Reno. It's a small plant quietly nestled near neighborhoods. The heat of the water turns turbines and is then pumped back into the warm ground. Little water waste, no noxious fumes, no coal ash causing cancer and it never stops. We produce power, we produce power 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. Solar is only when the sun shines, only during the day. Wind is only when the wind blows. Geothermal is 24 seven. Dr. Wendy Calvin of UNR's Great Basin Center says wind and solar steel headlines in Nevada but they shouldn't. Geothermal has always been kind of the underfunded poor stepchild of the renewable energy sector. Since geothermal relies on hot spots and often remote locations, it isn't as mainstream. But back at the alien vistas of Fly Geyser, this jewel will remain untouched. All it takes is someone running up there and trying to hammer off a little chunk of it. A sign of the power under our feet, simply waiting to be brought to the surface.